York is a, it's a very good city. I liked it a lot for a long time. I'm contemplating of moving out. I've been here long enough. It is totally changing. The yuppies, uh, they have a right to live too, but uh, I don't want to live next to them. If you have some brain and some feeling for, for people, you're, you're going to be a good photographer. Robert is like a man with chopsticks, and he watches and watches, and then he takes the two chopsticks and he just picks the most lasting, essential thing out of the chaos. Sorry, we keep running out of film and battery. Robert, I was just going to ask you again. Well, look, forget it. Uh, look, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not an actor, you know. I, I, can't, I can't go through this. <laughs> The Americans was the first time I made a trip across the country. So it was the big change in my career, and it was at the right time. I mean, I would photograph a girl that's standing there with a towel around it. You know, that's probably what I would photograph. Today, it would turn away, or, you know, tell you to. It was his idea to make a film. It was a faultless film because Kerouac, with his genius for words, pulled it through. There was some optimism, I think, in, in the air. People didn't worry so much. They had some dreams, you know. It's different from now. But now there's no more dreaming, really. I did make up an image of the living in a shack, you know. <laughs> there's nobody around, and you know, I have to say, it's true. Well, come to think of it. Yeah, <laughs> the true story. It isn't a pretty life, it isn't a sweet life, but it's, it's, it's the real life that I looked for and that I got. I'm a survivor.